February is Black History Month. All month, every Tuesday and Thursday, Fox 5 News will share stories celebrating the black community and its influence. Among those stories, taking a closer look at the black diaspora in Metro Atlanta and its diversity. Tonight, Fox 5's Deidre Dukes explores the rich history and culture of Metro Atlanta's Afro-Caribbean population. The Virgin Islands, this is Allison, and this represented tourism of the Virgin Islands. The Caribbean Life TV studios in Stone Mountain transformed. Welcome to Jamaica, island in the sun. As members of Metro Atlanta's diverse Caribbean community showcase their rich culture and heritage. What we wanted to do was to highlight our Caribbean culture and the professionalism. Samantha Samuels, president of the Caribbean Association of Georgia, serves as our tour guide on this journey, which encompasses over 38 islands and regions to include the Spaniards, French, English, Danish, Indian, and Europeans. Cassava bread. Okay, so we all call the same thing. And that's what you'll realize about the Caribbean is that we're divided by water, but really and truly, we're joined by our cultures that we use the same ingredients. We just use them differently. Through food, music, and education, those here share some of who they are as a people, from where they came, and how they came to call Georgia home. We've all been spread out from our motherland, Africa, but we just really embrace our culture and embrace who we are. We are large in the metro, um, metropolitan area, especially in Stone Mountain, Lithonia, Lawrenceville, Henry County now is becoming a large population. Samuel says most landed in New York or Miami around 2005 before migrating to Georgia. Many come to America for job opportunities, education, and to create a better life for their family here and back home. Once one of us knows something good, we're going to share it with the rest of the family. And we're going to say, hey, why don't you check Georgia out? It is an amazing place, beautiful home, beautiful place to stay. Through her work with the Caribbean Association of Georgia, Samuels works not only to enhance the quality of life for the Caribbean people, but to bridge the cultural divide that sometimes exists between African Americans and Caribbean Americans. And sometimes we think, you know, we have this little rift of either Caribbean feel they're better or African American, and it's like, no, we should not be having that kind of fight. We should just really focus on how do we bring us together um, to make this one, one, one culture and that we are together. Antigua and Barbuda land and sea where they make beauty. June is National Caribbean Heritage Month. The Caribbean Association of Georgia is gearing up for their annual festivities, showcasing the community and the diaspora here in America. We are inviting you all to celebrate with us, whether it be in May, Memorial Weekend, which is the festivals, come and taste the food, see the culture, and then National Caribbean Heritage Month, which is June, to just come out and learn a lot more, and let us just come together and get some food. We love food, music. We divide it by water, but we join by our culture. And music. Peter <laughs> Dukes, Fox 5 News.